Hello there, today I'm going to teach you how to make a bootable Linux flash drive. This is quite simple, just get a flash drive with above 700 megabytes of storage. For software we're going to go to pendrivelinux.com and we're going to get something called the Yumi. Yumi stands for Your Universal Multiboot Installer. What it does is um, it helps you install other operating systems onto your flash drive. You're going to click that link and um, afterwards you're just going to scroll down the page until you find the download link, which should be down here. So click download, yumi 0.70.exe. After this, you're going to want to um, download your distribution of your choice. Um, I personally like Ubuntu 11.1. .1. It's my favorite of the OS's because Ubuntu 12 is a bit buggy for me. Uh, click download. Um, and from here, click to download desktop CD i386. And um, from here, your download will begin. Um, you will realize that it takes a while, 40 something minutes to download. And um, due to the magic of editing, I made that happen rather fast. To begin, you're going to want to get your flash drive and plug it into your computer on any port, doesn't really matter. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to open up what you just downloaded, Yumi 0.70. You're going to need administrative permissions, but uh, click yes. Wait for it to open. Okay, so this will come up. You hit Agree and Create. And if you click that, it'll show you all your ports. For me, I have A, E, and F, because I have a few ports on my computer. Um, to tell which port your flash drive is in, go under Computer, and it'll tell you right next to Removable Disk. Like mine is in E, for example. So I would select E. Now after that, um, you're going to look for the distribution that you have. Um, these are all the distributions that Yumi supports. Um, right now, since we have Ubuntu 11.1, uh, we're going to look for Ubuntu 11.1 in the menu. And as you can see, we're almost there, going down a little further. And there we go. Click on that. And after that, hit Create. From here, you want to select Yes. And from here, it should be installing onto your flash drive. It'll go through various stages. It'll take roughly 20 minutes. This is just me editing, but um, it takes a while for this to happen. And after this, you click Next. It's going to ask you if you want to add any more distros. Just click No. And after this, you're all done. Just click Finish. From here, you're set, and you can remove your flash drive. For booting, you're going to need to turn a computer off, plug your flash drive in, and then when you power a computer back on, you want to press one of the F keys to get into the boot menu. I'll demonstrate here. Plug it in and turn a computer on. From here, I had to hit F9. On some computers, it's F12. And you go down to USB device and hit Enter. Now go to Linux distributions and go to Ubuntu. Hit enter and from there Ubuntu will start booting. From here you successfully installed Linux onto your flash drive and um, you can boot into Ubuntu anytime you want at school, at home, wherever and you even have the option to install Ubuntu from this feature so you can use this to install it onto a computer if for some reason you can't get it boot into Windows normally. Um, it's very helpful because sometimes you can check into, into the hard drive if a computer is busted you can get into the hard drive through Linux and you can see what the problem is. It's a really helpful skill and I hope it's useful to you in some way. Oh and to power off you want to go into the, right, the top right menu and hit shut down. And then just hit shut down. From there Ubuntu will turn off and you're all set.